Right, what is up you guys, and of course as always, welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And this week we are covering actually Rapidash. Well, not only Rapidash, but it's Galarian form versus its fiery starter for Generation 1. And we're going to debate, of course, their niches and overarching theme, but also whether or not the inclusion of a new Galarian form really improved of what the regular Rapidash is built on, as much as covering the buffs of Rapidash that has been significant for this generation, as while they're not necessarily on par with another, they share the exact stat total, so it makes sense to really just see and define which one does the things it does best. And we're gonna start off with the Pokemon introduced first, and this time it's been the get one in Rapidash. So let's head off. Now, when it comes to regular Rapidash, I mean, it's a soul fire type. What does that mean? Well, it's a good defensive typing. You resist bug, fairy, fire, and grass, ice, and steel, but you're weak to ground, rock, and water. But it's a really good defensive typing. And with heavy duty boots, it is, of course, even better, as it's now not only are not punished by switch ins, it actually does wear those boots kind of well. Its stat version is kind of those weird side because it's not bulky. It, it's, it's never been a bulky attacker. 6 of 5 is its HP, yeah, and then 17 its defense, and then 8 in special defense. It, it's not gonna soak hits, it's not the point. It is those 100 attack together with those 105 speed that really push this guy above the water. It actually has a good special attack of 80, which is really something I would call significant, as it is usable. Then we have its abilities to both flame body, flash fire, and run away. I hardly would say that any other ability but Flash Fire is the one you're gonna use. Flame Body could be usable, but that would be more of a draft league play of anything for certain matchup. Flash Fire is where it's at because it gives you an extra immunity and boosts your ridiculous fire steps to even higher levels. Now, when it comes to the move pool of the Rapidash, while it is broad, I really want to reach on two things that got this generation that makes it really good, and that is Sword Stance and Solar Blade. Solar Blade do allow you to work as a Sun Sweeper and at 105 speed you're able to do that just fine to combine that with Soul Stance. Yeah, it's great. And then we have, like I said here, actually Soul Stance to push you on that level. So it didn't have Soul Stance from generations 1 to 7, so it never been a wall breaker. But with this inclusion, it can absolutely sweep teams and naturally so. That 100 base attack, while not scary at first, combine it with high base power stabs like Flare Blitz, and you are in a world of pain. Now, it gets a lot of moves to really like good filler moves to keep in mind here. A very rare one of those are actually high horsepower. We also have moves like Low Kick, Mega Horn, you have Recovery in Morning Sun, Play Rough, Poison Jab, Quick Attack. And because it's some special move, you have the Fire Blast and you have the Will O Wisp and you have Wild Charge for those bulky waters. So, just overall, Rapidash very, very, very naturally really, really offensive and rather scary. And while it hasn't necessarily not been a high showcase for any team ever, it has come to my fruition that this guy has carved a niche for itself under the radar of most teams and is now able to deal with the most Pokemon actually in the high Smogon OU meta, but it also fills a very important role in Draftly because of its viability in its complexity of a broader mood pool together with a very very elitist speed tier of 105. This guy is on the high tier draft. While it's not the perfect fire type, it has the means to be a very very offensive threat and that's why I really love Rapidash, but however is it better than a Galarian form? Who knows? Let's find out. Now, Galarian Rapidash is actually quite interesting, mainly because it actually represents something as unique as said before. Psychic Fairy as an offensive typing is always good, but it's never been physical. So, with that in mind, what does the typing itself mean? Well, defensive or not, I couldn't tell, I shouldn't say. It is only have immunity in Dragon, but have resistance to finding and psychic. And then you have three weaknesses in Ghost, Poison, and Steel. So yeah, maybe not the best defensive type, but definitely more on the defensive side, it is absolutely scarier. Same stat version as Rapidash, so it's all about the stabs. And when it comes to its abilities, it has Anticipation, Runaway, and Pastel Veil. Pastel Veil basically gives you an immunity to Toxic, so that's always going to be your ability, as the other ones, while interesting, aren't helping it that much, I would say. 
it, it's not like you suspect and if it goes up to not carry something like a shadow ball so anticipation is cut off the wall and without hidden power yeah it's it, it isn't redundant but rather a pastel veil is so good because it basically means you can't get stalled and that's a rare trait to have for an offensive pokemon now when it comes to its move pool it's pretty much is a mirror to um, regular rapid edge one however that we got a different type of uh, stab combination we've got of course both play rough and some headbutt but filler moves in high horsepower low kick and throat chop are really good and a few moves that are ideal or new to this pokemon i would say is healing wish this does allow a choice scarf or choice bandit variant of glitter rapid edge to actually support the team in a way that regular rapid edge can only dream of doing and you know boosting your pokemon back to full health yeah, that's kind of nasty. We also have Sword Sense of this Pokemon, and uh, we also have Calm Mind, because we talked about that 80 special attack before. And while necessarily not um, the regular Rapid Edge was standing out too much with only Solar Beam and Fire Blast, this time we got Psyshock, Shine Kick, Dazzling Gleam, we got Mystical Fire. There are filler moves here to be used and exploited that are ideal for a Poison Fairy type. So that's awesome. It also has Stole Power. We want to capitalize on that. Then we don't. Agility we have that too, but overall it's a really decent Pokemon with good combinations and a really really ideal team for more offensive even hyper offensive teams and um, It's a great inclusion. It hasn't been showcased that well in the Smoke and OU meta But in draft league it was showing that the support aspect to get it with combination of two offensive variants both specialty and you know, physical offensive has really done this Pokemon justice and is a great inclusion to the meta if anything but it comes down to the matchup you know I'm leveling back and forth but basically what it comes down to is one thing and that is unfortunately that well I think they're both great in their own rights one of these Pokemon's absolutely threatens the whole meta alone by its new combination that the other one sadly doesn't do Galeria Rapidash while being cool and interesting Pokemon with super effective things to do for it is not the you know high power wall breaker as the regular Rapidash is basically higher stabs and flare blades together with solar blade and just a broad aspect of actually capitalizing on weather such as sunny day and sword stances to allow you to hit with a plethora of checks to against you Rapidash does this so much better than Galarian Rapidash do while the supportive aspect of Galarian Rapidash is something that uh, regular Rapidash can't uh, replicate I, I definitely value that very very highly for a league aspect but besides that I think regular Rapidash is just top of the wall it's very very good this generation and uh, it took some time for it to figure that one out and I don't hate on the Galarian Rapidash if anything I think it's a superb Pokemon overall but it just doesn't have the same type of firepower as a regular Rapidash do and that in its own right just makes me think that Rapidash the regular form is better than its Galarian form so with that said guys hope really guys enjoyed this episode and as always join us next week for this matchup <laughs>